Good day, Chuck here at Garden Spot Acres. Got a little project for you today. How to make a low cost sink out of a stainless steel steam pan and a sink drain. I got the two parts here. Let's go ahead and see how we get this done. Here's the stainless steel steam pan here. You can see it has a lip on it. You've seen these in buffets salad bars these are the ones that sit down i think they call it a bain marie and they keep stuff cold or they keep stuff hot well i picked this up at my local restaurant store these come in many different sizes and while i was there i picked up this low cost drain it's just for a kitchen sink and together both of these were 22 dollars so i've got a savings of about a hundred dollars here and i get myself a little sink for my tiny house. I think these sinks would be cool for a tiny house, a cabin, garage, any place you have a need for a little sink and you don't want to spend big dollars. So let's go ahead and get this started. Hey, the first thing I want to do here is find the center. Now, the only thing that you're going to see different about this than a regular sink is you're not going to have that indentation after you cut the hole. So your basket is going to sit above the sink a little bit. So that's the only thing. And I looked at sinks and they were the cheapest one I could find like this was like $70. So I said, nah, I'm going to go try to do it this way. So what I'm going to do is find the center of this thing. And if you want a more sturdy sink, you can buy these in much heavier gauge stainless. I just took the least expensive one they had. So let me go ahead and try to find the center here. Oh, what do we got? 13 inches. That's about six and a half. Six and a half this way. So my center's right there. And I'm just gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna drill a small hole right there. All right, now she's through. Now I just hope my hole saw is sharp enough to get through that stainless. It might be thin, but it's it's a hard, it's a hard steel. I have to go with my Black & Decker 75th anniversary electric drill. See how that works. Let me put some WD-40 on there. I thought being the cheaper pan it would drill right through there easier. But boy, she isn't. Well, plan A using the hole saw didn't work. So I'm gonna go to plan B. Basically right around the black of that ring right there. I'm gonna go to plan B and try to use a uh, jigsaw. Let's see how that works. Right there. All right, let's give this a try. That's doing the trick. It's gonna go slow enough now so I don't mess it up.
There, that did the trick. Ah, uh, she didn't misform it or anything. Now I just hope that the uh, my drain fits in the bottom of there. Take that nut off there. The rubber gasket, and there's a piece of cardboard. That's a cardboard gasket. Don't lose that. That keeps your rubber from uh, scrunching up when you tighten the nut back down. Well, let's see if it fits. Hey, let's see how oversized it is. It's not. So a three and a half inch hole works perfectly for that. That's pretty good. And she's not gonna leave much of a lip there at all. I just now have to get some uh, silicone and I'll silicone that in. We'll tighten that nut on the bottom just until it starts to squeeze out. Then I will let it cure overnight. Then tighten the nut the rest of the way down. So you're basically making a silicone gasket for the top. Okay, I'm gonna wipe these parts off now with a alcohol wipe. Make sure they're clean. There, she's squeaky now. Okay, take my basket. And I'm gonna lay a bead of this Lexel, the tough elastic sealant for every job. Even sticks to wet surfaces, sticks to almost anything it says. This is great stuff, you ever used this before? just really thick and it's really sticky there we go I'll lay that in there like that tighten this nut on now, before I do that, I'm going to wipe off anything that came out. Don't really need that up in my threads for any reason. I don't want to tighten that down too much. I want to make sure there's a seal there. And it left some in the, underneath, you know? And there we go. My low cost sink. What do you think? My faucets will be on the countertop. Actually, I'm just going to put one faucet in, but that's another story. But that costs $23 or something like that compared to almost a hundred if I bought it as a sink. I like it. Thanks for coming along, I really appreciate it. And if you could, could you share this with your friends and families? Definitely hit the like button, even leave a comment. Hit the notification bell for the next video so you don't miss them. I appreciate it, I hope, hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next one, bye bye.